students now here i am introducing second part of a polymers that is preparation of few important fibers which are very important now first one that is terylin terylin is also called as a dacron and it is also known as a polyester fiber why because there is a presence of ester linkages which is coo so that is why terylin is also called as a polyester fiber now the monomers required for the preparation of terylin is dimethyl terephthalate and also ethylene glycol now we'll start with the preparation of terylin salt first terylin salt terylin salt is made by the combination of dimethyl terephthalate and ethylene glycol now see here the important fact is when ethylene glycol added to dimethyl terephthalate there is a removal of methyl alcohol molecules so because of that the removal of methanol it is called as condensation polymer so terylin is also called as a condensation fiber now see when ethylene glycol combines with the dmt i wrote here two ethylene glycol molecules and dmt this side there is removal of ch3oh see this ch3oh is removed and this ch3oh so there is a removal of ch3oh molecules to form terylin salt see oh ch2 ch2 coo the benzene ring coo again ch2 ch2 and oh so this is terylin salt now the second step that is the polymerization now polymerization is what see here here it is a terylin salt when it is heated the important factor is again there is removal of ethylene glycol so see this oh ch2 ch2 and the oh from this side i have taken then then this oh combines with this group to remove ethylene glycol oh ch2 ch2 and oh so after removal of ethylene glycol will get the terylin or dacron so this fiber is called as a terylin or dacron see here there is linkages of a coo so because of that it is called as a polyester fiber now second fiber i discuss that is melamine formaldehyde polymer it is very important melamine that is the formula is like this and this is the formaldehyde ch2o when ch2o combines with this melamine it gives the structure like this it means there is a removal of this hydrogen and ch2o and this hydrogen combine together to form group like ch2oh so the hydrogen from this nh combines with this ch2 to form ch2oh so the breaking of two hydrogen atoms here now this compound obtained is called as intermediate second step will start the polymerization from the intermediate so this intermediate i have taken here combine this so many times that is n times to form the polymer now everywhere everywhere there is a removal of h which combines with the ch2o to form ch2oh likewise here also one hydrogen from nh2 goes with ch2o to form ch2 again here there is a ch2 this oh is removed as a h2o huh? this oh is removed as h2o so oh from ch2 removed as h2o same thing here same thing here and this indicates the continuation so this indicates the continuation 
and the fiber octet is melamine formaldehyde polymer. So this is second polymer. Now next fiber that is NOLAC polymer. NOLAC polymer it is obtained from phenol and formaldehyde. When phenol and formaldehyde combines together it gives various types of structures. This is the mixture of the structures. Now see this is CH, 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 all our CH atoms are present in benzene ring. If the CH bond breaks the hydrogen from CH, combines with CH2O, combines with CH2O and join here. So this is the ortho position. Again, three types of structure form here. If for the polymerization process, we take this structure here, for polymerization, it gives, see, there is a removal of H2O. N times we are taking this molecule, N times. Now, if we take this N times, then there is a removal of H2O. Like this ring, when it comes in front of this, like this, then there is a removal of H2O. How? This OH from CH2OH and the hydrogen from this position here. The hydrogen from this position and OH of CH2, there is a removal of H2O this side. Same thing here, the CH2OH and CH. Again, from CH2OH, the OH and H from this ring, there is a removal of H2O. It continues to form polymer and that polymer is called as a lac polymer. So these are three very important polymers.